that ain't gonna do it, man. You ain't milling me out that much. Yeah, you're done, bro. You ain't milling me like that, bro. Too much for you. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. We're doing it, guys. The Sunday night special. Well, I guess Saturday night special, but well, that's a different thing. Sunday morning special, since that's when this video is going out. But, um, you know, there's two things that I like. There's two black cards that I like. I like Tegrid, uh, and I like Vito. And I realize, well, we've never had a beautifully blessed union between these two. Um, we've never combined them in one deck yet. Or if I did, I don't remember. Maybe I did. I make so many decks, I can't remember. But I've never made a sacrifice life gain deck with the beautiful, unholy marriage of Tegrid, um, She of the Lantern, and Vito of the Dusk Rose. So that's what we're going to look at tonight, guys. The Black Union. A sacrifice, life gain, and drain deck featuring both of our heroes, Tegrid, Turgrid, God of Fright, and of course, um, Vito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose. That's what we're going to work on tonight. Let's take a look. Mono Black Goodness coming in hot. And of course, before we get started, I'm going to ask a special request of you, dear viewer. I need you to do something for me. Tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Otherwise, the like and subscribe will come and eat you. He is a monster. Monster werewolf holding a subscribe button who only grows more powerful by the day. So please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Become a villain today. And of course, join us on our Twitch, twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for all of your live streaming goodness. And if you just can't get enough villainy in your life, uh, we do have our own Discord and something that people have been asking me for a long time. I finally got in the content creator program on Aetherhub. Uh, people always ask me, where's your Aetherhub? We finally do have an Aetherhub content creator version um and the aether hub links will be in the description as well i always also put the deck list in the description as well in case you're new any one of my videos will always have the deck list in the description so here we go guys archfiend's vessel um i love this one especially for a sacrifice he's a one one life link and we can always bring him back from the dead and uh, he's a great sacrifice to play. He's got all the candles ready and the bloody the bloody knife and the, his soul is ready to be consumed by a demon. And really that's um, that's really all we're looking for in, in a minion is for their soul to be consumed by a demon. Cling to dust. Uh, I love this one. Graveyard hate is kind of important right now. There's so much recursion. There's so much stuff to graveyard dependent, especially with all these cycling decks. Uh, I like to just get rid of stuff. Um... Uh, I like to just get rid of stuff. We gain three life, or if we don't exile a creature, we can get, um, if we exile a different card, we can draw a card. So a little variety there, especially that life gain when we activate Vito later is going to be nice. And it's got recursion because you can play from the graveyard by exiling your own graveyard. Dusk Wielder. You know I'm a big fan of this card, guys. He showed up in a lot of my decks lately. He's kind of an aggro black, which you don't see too much. Uh, because on turn two, he can hit you for two damage. Um, and he's got that one, two, he's a decent early blocker, uh, and a one drop. I'm really digging this elf berserker. Malachar rebirth. Of course, it's a mana before it's anything else, but in the terrible case that we do get mana flooded, um, what we're going to do is be able to play that as a mana. And then of course, just have the recursion for that turn two demon or anything that people are playing removal on right now. It's rated Scorpion. I love this little guy. Uh, he is an MVP in any veto deck and any sacrifice deck because he gives you an amazing benefit if you've been, uh, if he dies or sacrifices. A 1 2, so a good early blocker. 1 drop. Um, 
uh, and also you gain two life and they lose two life, then if you have Veto out, they're going to lose two more life. So one mana drop, good blocker, sacrifice fodder, and you're going to gain two life and they're going to lose four under the right circumstance. Yes, please, sign me up for that. Absolutely. Um, feed the swarm. Destroy target creature and enchantment and opponent controls. You lose life equal to that permanent compared to mana cost. I chose this one just for the enchantment destruction because we're seeing a lot of enchantments in the game right now. In a life gain deck, I'm not so hesitant to lose to not worry about, um, you know, losing something like that, uh, losing that life in the, in the pinch in an emergency. Um, so either way, uh, I don't really mind the loss of life. You can put whatever removal you want. Tyramat. He's underrated, guys. He's an enchantment creature. He is 2 plus your devotion from black, so he's fine in mono black. Um, so he makes a pretty beefy blocker, much like Heliod. And then you can exile cards up from your library. Uh, you can keep paying that, and you can gain life for each way you did it. And you can pay that as much as you want. So we're talking mill decks. I've done this to a mill deck. Uh, I've had, you know, late game, I've had 8 mana out, paid this 4 times and exiled six creatures, gained six life, and with Vito on the board, they lost six life. You know, um, you can really pull off some good combos with Timorant. He's also a giant crazy monster golem made out of melted golden death masks. So, you know, he's got the drip, man. You gotta respect the style. Unlikely aid. Listen, guys, out there right now, in the wilds, and ranked, in the wilds of unranked, of ranked right now, uh, removal is everywhere indestructibility and that boost is um very good now you can also get if you just want instead of indestructibility if you want to do uh demonic gifts um you can just do that um it won't always help either one is fine i just chose unlikely aid but demonic gifts will be just as fine too uh, they basically do the same thing. This one leaves the battlefield. This one comes back. This one just makes it indestructible. I like the indestructibility because it's a little bit more flexibility. So either one is fine. Hell, do both if you feel like it. All right. Demon's Disciple. A 3-1 when he enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices a creature. Love it. Making people force sacrifice is a great Ray Round stuff, especially if you've eliminated a lot of their other creatures. Um, if you have nothing on the board, he can be sacrificed, but in this case, we have a lot of sacrifice fodder at the early here. You see how many small creatures we have? Okay, you see how many one drops we have? This is almost black aggro. It's so cheap. Okay. Um, so I would actually, if anything, I would up them out of these. Oh, I skipped over call of the death dweller here. Uh, return two target creature cards with a code of converted mana cost of three or less to your, uh, graveyard to your battlefield. Uh, put a death catch on either one, then put a menace on either one. This is an amazing card, guys. I've played this a whole lot. Um, I love it, especially with all these cheap ones. Bringing back Serrated Scorpion, bringing back Timorant, um, Demon's Disciple, even Vito all the way down here. You can bring back almost anything in this deck, uh, including Archfiend's Vessel, Dusk Wielder, lots of stuff. Uh, so there's a lot of variety to bring back. Um, and of course, you bring back Archfiend's Vessel, he turns into a demon. So Demon's Disciple, if you want more sacrifice, sure, go for it. I like that he's a creature, um, and we don't really care about sacrificing our stuff. We also want to force sacrifices on them, of course, as you're going to see later. Nighthawk Scavenger, very good card, um, especially with a full um, graveyard. 1-3 Flying Death Touch and Life Link, and it's 1 plus the number of cards in the uh uh, cre uh, card types in the opponent's graveyard it can get pretty big my guys um, another great vampire especially with that life link and high damage paired with our boy through the blood of the wicked we shall be redeemed let us pray hallelujah amen uh, there he is guys as you can see we have a lot of life gain we have a lot of life control and we have a lot of sacrifice uh, we also have a lot of high damage output cards potentially here um a whole bunch of dusk wielders going in it's, um a night a night scavenger all these things with vetoes all going on and their night then their gain and drain abilities going off uh you have serrated scorpion being sacrificed doing that extra damage all of those things will help to really power veto thorn of the dusk rose 
And of course, it wouldn't be a union um, without somebody to unionize with. And that's Tegrid. Tegrid, goddess of fright. Uh, she's actually the god of fright here. I think goddess of fright, but whatever. Whatever she chooses. Uh, I've never done a veto in Turgid deck, and I wanted to. So, lantern first. Always lantern first. They lose three life unless they sacrifice an online permanent or discard a card. And then, of course, we can keep making them pay that. Whenever an opponent sacrifices a creature, if we have Tegrid out or discards a card, you may put that card from the graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. So, we can take control of everything that they sacrifice or discard. Um... And the lantern itself makes them sacrifice and discard. Uh, if you want to add more sack and discard into the early game, uh, you could down a few of these and add a little bit more. I'm kind of focusing on the front end life gain. If you want to retool it to put on the back end kind of more sacrifice and uh, discard, you can. But she's just kind of there to get that extra damage out because we kind of want to encourage people to lose life. This is really set up to just drain and drain and drain. Uh, get their life total down to where they just have no ability to re uh, to move around. Agadim's Awakening, we can pay to get a whole mess of stuff back on the battlefield. It's always good to have one of these uh, before it's a life, and we can pay to get it out. Castle Lockthwain, we get that little extra card draw. And, of course, 17 Swamps, which I don't know why I haven't changed them to my Premium Swamps. Um, that is my bad. Not your bad, but my bad. Uh, there's a reason that I paid for premium swamps, and that's so I can use them, guys. We look at this on the board here, 2.1 average. We're pretty much set up for aggro. 26 creatures. We can reduce creatures and put more spells in if we want. 8 instants, 7 sorceries, 2 enchantments, 19 lands. This does not need a lot of mana to run. Tegrid is really the big one, and really her lantern is only 4. We look at it on the alternate view here. As I said, her lantern is really only four, so we're really only one, two, three, four. She is potentially a five later on, um, even though in that card we all know she's a ten. Um, early cards, middle cards, late cards, really a lot of aggression coming out front. So that's what we're looking at there, guys. Let's see if we can't get into a decent rain game and avoid the copious amounts of cycling that is going on right now with Black Union. And how's everybody doing tonight? Hey, Carl Palacios, four months in a row sub. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Um, I actually like this hand. Um, I like this hand. How's everybody doing tonight in chat world? I see y'all playing each other. Opponent goes first. Vol Volcario. Uh, we're going to keep this. Uh, yeah, I have double veto, but honestly, if veto gets removed so much because everybody knows what he does, um, that I don't really mind. Sanctum, Birth of Melitus, okay. Okay. We're going to put out this first, and then we're going to hit him with the veto. What's up, Cthulhu? Up to your old tricks, man. Nexus0911. Hey, how you doing, man? Are you new here? I don't remember seeing you around, man, but glad you came. Oh no, you've been around for a while. You've been around for a while, Nexus. 
Yeah, I think it has been a while. Well, I'm glad you're here, man. Um, Bane Slayer Angel. Look at that. He just wanted to get that boy out on the board. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just feed that to the swarm. Yeah, there you go. You don't need that. That's for suckers. Cthulhu, four months in a row coming in. Um, glad you could be here, man. I think it's been like a month since you've been here, Nexus. Uh, Cthulhu coming in with the four month. Everybody working on their six month badge, man. I gotta make some primo six month badges. So as long as we don't have a board wipe, we're gonna be okay here. Um, I kind of put all my eggs in one basket. I probably should have held on to that Nighthawk. Um, because he might be trying to hit me here. But honestly, I'm going to have so much life gain that I don't think he's going to be able to survive this hit. Um, so we're going to see. I think he might be hit here. Someone is asleep next to you, man. All right. Good, man. Good. Kroxa. Um, who do we want to discard? We'll discard Cling to Dust, because that's got Recursion on it. Hugh coming in, man. Um, all right, I'll try to be quiet. Hype Train has started. Oh, my goodness. We've got so much stuff. The Hype Train has started, guys. We haven't had a Hype Train in a long time, guys. The Hype Train is going. Oh, we got Vito going right now. Um... And look, we're going to trigger Veto, and we're going to get that hype train all the way up, man. Uh, Yusuf is continuing the gift sub they got from Amun Ra. Um, and this guy's going to be drained to death here. Um, you can sub, gift, or use bits to get to the next level of the hype train. Who is going to be the new conductor of the hype train, ladies and gentlemen? That is the real question. All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick interjection here. At this point, we're going to cut to the next day, and I want to show you the modifications I made because I want to admit something. The deck I made last night went on a losing streak. It just was missing something, especially in the current meta. So I want to show you the modifications I made to up the power and up the effectiveness, which you're going to see. So the first game that we just saw went well, um, but the ones after that, for some reason... We just could always get them close, but we could never break it off. Um, so we basically have the same outline here uh, of all the things that we have. The things that we changed was less dust wielders, added village rights, changed demonic gifts for um, uh, unlikely assistance. What's that one called? Um, yeah, unlikely aid. We changed it for demonic gifts. Uh, we added heartless act for more removal. And we just tweaked a few of these settings here a little bit. Um, and it made it a much, much more effective deck. So I didn't, for some reason, I didn't go over the modifications. I just made them real quick on the fly in the video. And I wanted to kind of explain what we did to get it over that threshold, to get it over that edge, to get it more winning uh, for Black Union. But essentially, still the Taggart and the Veto thing here. Um, but we just made these a lot of modifications. The correct, the, the modified... Um, deck list is going to be in the description. I always like to show you how decks evolve, okay? So when things aren't working, don't worry. You can always evolve them. You can always tweak. They're not set in stone. So I wanted to show off, this is what I'm going to be playing from here on out. And I'm going to show you the next day when I went through the tweaks, after that bad losing streak, we picked ourselves off, dusted ourselves off, and went back in with this one, and you're about to see the results. All right? So here we go. All right, we're back after some retooling. And we're going to try to make Black Union. We're trying to make it a, a thing here. Um, a little bit of retooling to fix this one up. Not bad. 
This is Lurus Rogues, so I'm probably going to lose. Because uh, that's all anybody plays. We're on the draw here, which is bad for us. Oh, he mulligan to five. Crab naturally. Non creature card. I think they're all creatures, yeah. So if I can get a mana. I feel I'll feel better. Let's get in there. He might have some flash, so we'll see. Draw. Another rune crab. So he's going to try to double mill me. He's going to double down on the mill here. Keeps throwing away my mana, which is a good and bad thing. Let's see what he says. Nope, he's probably going to mulligan this. I mean, he's probably going to counterspell this. I'm sure he has a um, drawn in the lock ready. He didn't. Interesting. Uh, he might just going to be playing it on a Nighthawk Scavenger. Probably he's mousing over him. Yep, heartless act. Brought Lewis into his hand. This guy really doesn't know how to pilot a Demir Rogue. All right, let's go in. Let's see what happens. It's going to be seven damage no matter what. Uh, let's see what happens here. Too bad I don't have a scorpion. I would have village rights. I 
Who's he going to bring back? He's going to bring back Rune Crab? That's not going to help. He got a board wipe or something. He can't play a kicked, um. He can't play a kicked, uh, Maddening Cacophony. He's just got a scoop. I don't see any win state here. Yeah, let's bring back Vito. He might have a counter spell. Drawn on the lock. Yeah, it didn't say please. But, I mean, I got a flyer going in, so what's the point? Of game three. Whoop, he'll still be at zero. Yeah. All right, so a little bit better performance there. A little bit better performance there. A mostly bad performance on his part. Honestly. He just did not show up. I don't know what he was what he was waiting for. Pulling the lures to his anime and nothing in the graveyard was a weird play, but I don't know what he was holding on to there. So last night, uh, we did real bad. I'm recording this second half of the video in the morning. Um, when I think I've shaken off the, uh, the bad luck juju that I was having. Um, and, uh, cause I was just on a run. Um, no, no kidding. I mean, you can ask the guys that were in the chat last night. We had a fun time in the chat regardless. Um, but, uh. Like, we just ran into the worst decks. Like, that new cycling deck, um, you know, Demir Rogues twice, the new cycling deck two or three times. What I mean by the um, Kara Age Tencho. Interesting. Hmm. So... He is mulliganing down to four. So he's probably running a Tibble. Or his goals are beyond our understanding. I don't know. Oh my god, the cling to dusts. Alright, I have way too many cling to dusts. It's a decent card, but we gotta reduce the number of those guys. Clearly. Oh, we're gonna draw a card here. It's a swamp. Well, that works. As long as it's not an exile, just don't be extinction event. You can sweep the board, and that's fine. Just don't exile me, please. That's all I ask. He's got nothing. Um, that's weird. Okay, there we go. He's gonna tip all trickery himself. 
He got nothing but mana. He's gonna put Prismatic Bridge out. card dust wielder he's down to seven so even with dream trawler out I don't think he can do it I would love a Wither Crown right now. That would be great. Tegrid. So he's going to be down to four. He's going to gain some. But he's got to block somebody. I think he might be behind the eight ball here. Yeah, he's behind the eight ball here. Okay, so he gained that life. However, I'm just going to exile Dusk Wielder and gain three life, and it's over with. Unless he's got a counter spell, he might have a Tibalt's Trickery. Backfired. Look at that backfire. Look at that backfire. Look at that backfire. Beautiful. Beautiful backfire. That's how I want to win. I want to win through craziness. That's what I want in my life. I want madness. The absolute madness of the dark. Let's keep going. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Uh, no early plays. As much as I like this combo, no early plays. I got to take out more cling to dusts. This is better. Um... I would probably get rid of this swamp. I think I can draw into some one by turn three. Especially village riding a scorpion. No, I'll do that. Okay. Another lord. Look at this, guys. I mean, are we kidding ourselves here, guys? Honestly. It's the same thing. It's the same thing over and over again, guys. I mean, come on. Seriously. Draw two cards. Okay. No attacks. It's the same decks over and over again, man. The meta is so after right now, man. The meta is just, it's the same thing. 
Just the same thing constantly, man. It's ridiculous. Oh, he, he changed it up with added Ashiok to be an extra, to be extra dickish. Yeah, oops is right. Um, let's death dwell. Um, Archfiend's vessel and a. doesn't even know how to pilot it. Alright, we're gonna hit a veto next time and see what happens. Hopefully he'll play something like Ashiok. Yeah, he's gonna try to double mill me in Ashiok. Who's he gonna try to exile? He might return the demon. No, that was a bad move. That was the wrong move, guy. All right, we drew that so we don't need a death dweller him. We're going face. I don't care. So the, the new and revised um, ripping people up. Yeah, I actually did have fun that match. Um, starting to get there. I think I'm going to take out a cling to dust. We have too many of them. Especially, we don't need the card draw as much. Um, so I think that's going to be the last adjustment that I'm going to make here. For Black Union. Probably only need two. And I would probably add more. We have two Feed the Swarms. I would probably add more Heartless Acts. A little bit more removal. And I think we'll be right as rain here. I think we'll be right as rain here with a little bit more removal. Dracon PT. Okay, a uh, pretty smooth draw with a little bit of recursion, a little bit too much mana, but um, at least we have a, a pretty good curve. Faceless Haven, oof, getting flooded already. At least it's lovely premium mana. So, so this is probably the snow aggro type of deal. Nighthawk scavenger to veto, so that one when Nighthawk goes in, we can kill. He's already kind of behind the eight ball here. So we can hit Veto and then have enough for Malakar Rebirth. No attacks. Oof. Probably gonna get hit Nighthawk. Oh, he got Tyrant Bat. That's, that's weird. That was a misplay right there, guy. You do not want Tyrant Bat.
Why are you sending the scorpion? He's going to die. Yeah, of course he's going to die. That's the point. I'm going to start life draining. As long as he doesn't apparate everything I have, I'll be all right. But even so, oof! Yeah, that's gonna be an active heal. Yeah, yeah, we need removal quickly. Village rights. We have a Malik here, but we have to play more removal. Um, he's got a decent amount of cards in his hands, which isn't great. All right, that's not too much of a threat right now. He's got to get all the way back up to 27, which is not impossible, but is not too threatening, as it were. Because um, you can only charge one guy off with life gain. Oof. Oh, that's going to be bad. Yeah, we really didn't need that. Maul is OP. Yeah, he's coming in for the Big Bang. Uh, 13. I could stop five of it from coming in. draw two cards hopefully draw into some removal no we didn't we drew into that no attacks um we will be able to bring back some stuff next turn but until we draw removal we're going to be in bad shape because we have to kill that apparition um or that daxos Another mall. Shit. He's gonna put it on uh, Speaker of the Dead. Yep. Speaker of the Heavens. Absolute worst card he could draw right there. For us. We've got to draw removal. If we don't draw removal, I mean, we're we're boned. Um, that's 18. Shit. Hmm. I think you misplayed on that one. Unless he's got a, uh, whatchamacallit. Fight as one. He might have a fight as one.
Thank goodness. It's a 1 1 counter. Let's do this instead. Shouldn't have fed him that five, fuck. We let it through. Another fucking mall. Oh my god. I wonder where this guy shops. Do you guys think he shops at the mall? That wasn't smart to do. Um... I guess I'm going to have to take the... Yikes, ladies and gentlemen. All I can say is yikes. We are not getting the removal we need. Uh, those counters are not helping either. He actually let it through. He should be hitting it. doesn't really matter what I do. He's going to first strike me to death, so... Might as well not wait for him to uh, realize that. 
did not get the removal, guys. Good lord. Um, he had counters. We could not pull the removal we needed. We needed pretty much anything but that, uh, whatchamacallit. I like it because in an instant, but in that case, uh, Blood Chief's Thirst would have been much better. Uh, would have been a much better solution for that. Anything, anything, a sacrifice, a, just anything would have been good at that point. Uh, but three malls on the board, I mean, with life gain is just... That engine is just brutal. No early plays, don't like it. Um, this is better. This is better. I think that... Tyrant Matt is going away. I'm not 100% sold on Tyrant Matt yet. Blue mill, probably. Oof, threw away my veto. Oh, got me a thing there now. cards maddening cacophony let's see what else we got what did he throw away there anything good we can get a veto back with recursion I don't think that his mill strategy is going to be very good right here uh, he threw away every single one of my tagrids which is amazing see what he gets I think a mono blue mill is not going to be nearly as effective um, yeah we got him now He's dead. Unless he has some sort of unforeseen blue board wipe, he's done. He's going to be at six. That ain't going to do it, man. You ain't milling me out that much. You're done, bro. You ain't milling me like that, bro. Too much for you. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to leave it there. We had a rough time with this deck. I still think it could be improved even more. Um, and um, I, th I think it's effective, but I mean, man... Rogue Mill, man, I it's it's like fifty percent of the meta right now. It's it's a damn shame. 
um, just going up against these things, I think this deck will work, especially if you're playing paper with your friends, it'll definitely work, but in Arena right now, man, it's a, it's a damn mess, uh, can't wait for Strixhaven, I can't believe I'm saying that, but just to shake things up, um, so until next time, the word of the day is going to be, of course, marriage, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time, guys, I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great, bye-bye.